Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Dr. Gita Dergoyle and I, we're working together and helping to improve, I think, the quality of health care. He's really doing it. I, I'm, I'm just helping to educate people that there are alternatives to uh, bureaucracy-centered, insurance-centered, government-centered health care. And the free market health care movement is all a part of, part of that. Uh, we're going to be working on uh, building... Um, Chapters of, of that organization, which exists uh, from Oklahoma City, uh, looks like uh, Geetinder and I are going to be uh, covering that event uh, that they have every August, um, and uh, we're going to be covering that, bringing stories both for USDailyReview.com, Price of Business Radio Show, and Price of Business TV, and uh, we're just doing all of it. We're doing our part, our humble parts, to try to make things better. But talk about your practice and why the free uh, free market approach is so important to you to you based on your practice. Um, which is uh, our Our Way Health, and that's OurWayHealth.com. Good to talk to you, Dr. Goyle. Absolutely, Kevin. And uh, it, it's funny you say that I'm doing it and you are the ones educating it. And, and the, the thing is we both are doing it because a large part of, large part of doing it is uh, educating ourselves as well as uh, the, the members of the community. So I believe we both are doing it. And so what we do at Our Way Health is we offer a set of services, uh, which is uh, actually way beyond a typical primary care doctor's office can offer anybody. And we offer those services uh, at a set low monthly cost. We don't bill insurance. People don't pay co-pays. It's a straightforward, simple approach with a lot of convenience and a lot of actual care built in. Yeah, it's a straightforward, simple approach, which people will find confusing at first because they're so used to the insanity of insurance. (laughs) Yes, it is a paradigm shift. And that is, you know, people often ask me, uh, so what are your competitors? And I say, you know, my competition is the mindset of uh, everybody, which is now for decades have only known uh, insurance-based health care. People equate healthcare to insurance, and that's the paradigm shift that we are trying to change. That is our biggest competition. Yeah, no question about it. So uh, there's some great organizations that are really providing a viable alternative to um, Obamacare and government. Well, really, traditional insurance. Period. I, you know, not not to even focus on any particular type of traditional insurance. All of the traditional insurance, and they are done at an extremely competitive price. They now have years of experience of actually fulfilling essentially would be the equivalent of claims. They would call them sharings, and uh, it's just a phenomenon. And they do it incredibly affordably because they get rid of the insurance bureaucracy and the government bureaucracy. Talk a little bit more about these kind of groups. So what you are talking about is, uh, is Kevin, healthcare sharing ministries. And uh, what the, so there are several of them, uh, four very large groups, uh, Liberty HealthShare, Samaritan, Christian HealthCare, MediShare. So these are the large four ones. And, and approximately 300 to 400,000 Americans actually t- participate in these cost-sharing programs. And what it really means is that you are part of this uh, larger organization and all the members share costs when it comes to their medical expenses. They all contribute a monthly share to a pool of money. And then any claims over a certain amount, which is very nominal, like $500 per year, for instance, any claims that are all above that are shared amongst the members. So it is, it is like a medical expense sharing community. And, and a lot of people... <laughs> Um, are gravitating towards these because, like you said, these are very viable, affordable options that really give you true catastrophic uh, coverage in case you do incur a, a big expense. Yeah. 
and they let you, you know, they let you use it in a way, you know, the vast majority of the time, we don't need that kind of help. We need the kind of concierge service that you're providing that takes care of so many of, uh, you know, uh, a patient's needs. You take a holistic approach, which a lot of medical doctors don't, not as big of an emphasis on prescriptions. When prescriptions are involved, you're very quick and willing to go to uh, generics in order to keep the cost contained. So what you provide is a system that really doesn't even require that much uh, anyway. It's much more uh, sensible, if you will. Yeah, exactly. And, and that is the whole point that, you know, insurance should, true insurance should only cover risk. What we buy health care from standpoint is not even insurance anymore because it covers every small thing. And our kind of model, and, and you know, it is one of the fastest growing models in the country, is an ideal combination with these uh, uh, various healthcare uh, sharing uh, ministries. And Kevin, I'm excited to have uh, several guests over the next few weeks, which are representatives uh, of these uh, health sharing ministries, to have them come and uh, share what they have done. They've been present for decades and uh, share how they are um, giving people some alternatives to traditional insurance, which I feel like is so important. Yeah, no question about it. We need to make it uh, real world, and uh, I'm very excited about it. And and they're growing, you know, and they're not new. People think, oh, what a neat new phenomenon. Uh, Some of these have been around since the 1980s. You know, and and the argument back then was, you know, not only the insurance bureaucracy and not only the, uh, you know, government uh, bureaucracy and uh, the the power of negotiation, but also lifestyles oriented. And not all of them are so much lifestyles oriented, but one of the ways some of these make it extremely cheap is no alcohol, no smoking, nothing. They don't want anything like that as part of their pools, which means the pools are a lot healthier. And, and And if your lifestyle is such to gravitate towards that, I think you should be taking advantage of that too, don't you? Absolutely. So it is ideal for people who are already adhering to those, uh, those I guess, uh, living standards, you may call it. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Um, yeah. And so I'm very excited about this. And uh, so is Dr. Goyle. Uh, we've got, you know, we, we, we don't just have people who are sales reps of these organizations. We've got the CEOs, executive directors, the highest level people that we're going to be talking to about it. So I'm pretty excited. How many, how, do, you, do you know off the top of your head how many of these interviews we have lined up? We have at least three lined up, Altrua Health Share, Samaritan Ministries, and uh, Christian Health Care Ministries. Yeah, and, and you know uh, what? We, we love all of them. You know, we love any of them that are providing yeah. viable alternatives to the current status quo. And uh, we love the fact that, there, I, lo- I personally love the fact there isn't just one, so that people can find one that matches their best lifestyle needs. The, the Christian and, Share one, yeah. for example, requires you to get, I think, signed off by a pastor or a religious leader to show that you're actually attending church because they want that as part of the criteria. Liberty, not so much. And so you can get to find one that really reflects where you are both, you know, physically, but also spiritually and economically. I, I, I totally agree with that. There are several options, and that uh, definitely is good for uh, such models. You know, the other thing I wanted to point out, Kevin, is that these these ministries and being part of these ministries really lets people be a true consumer because a lot of it is the the basic level you self-pay, right? And so you become a smarter consumer. Plus, you are not now a part of networks. You can choose wherever to go. You're not restricted. You're not being charged crazy amounts if you go out of network like usually happens with traditional insurance. Right. So right. It, it makes the, the consumer, I think, smarter. It makes the consumer smarter. It holds the hospitals accountable because hospitals can just t- kind of just arbitrarily throw out all kinds of crazy numbers, almost in a form of vindictiveness to get payback for all the bureaucracy that they, that they have to go through. And, and so the numbers aren't real world, but they know that the health insurers have huge amounts of money because of the premiums they're charging, and it just gets rid of all of these bizarre distortions. Yeah, it, it's you know I call it pricing failure. It's a huge. Uh problem, and that is uh, that consumer of health care is totally dissociated from the real cost of health care, mm-hmm. yeah. the, the way hospitals bill, the way insurance is reimbursed. 
and the way they have dissociated the whole process from the actual consumer of healthcare is a, is a big part of the, the pricing failure that we are facing in healthcare today. Time to make it real world, and uh, we're excited to help people learn how to do just that. And we'll be beginning that series, I would assume, next week, and I look forward to that. Dr. Geetender Goyle, OurWayHealth.com, and uh, we're going to continue to uh, do our campaign to uh, help people bring their health to the uh, to the level they want it to be and really get out of the sick care business and back into the health care business, which is another one of our themes. Uh, much more clo- uh, focus on prevention. All right, when we come back, we're going to have more for you right here on The Price of Business. Right 